This first sketch shows you the up and down motion of the lift. A lever is attached to a syringe, which will be pushed down when the user pushes down, or pulled up when the user pulls up. There are two metal beams placed apart with a syringe directly in the middle of them. The lift part is placed on top and attached to the syringe. So, like the lever, wherever the syringe goes, the lift follows. The idea for this was that the user pushes down on one syringe while the other is pushed up, causing the lift to move up or down as the user pleases. This next sketch shows you the tilting motion of the load. If you were facing towards the front, there would be two metal plates placed on either side of the forklift. Those plates would be tilted at a slight angle with the syringe attached on each of them. In front of those plates are the two beams from the last sketch, the ones that provide structure to the lift. Combined with both the angle of the plate and push and pull of the syringes, the beams of the lift are capable of tilting forward and backward. All in all, we combine the two sketches to make one. There are two levers, one to control each hydraulic component. The base, we decided, would have wheels to kind of represent the vehicle it is supposed to be. No matter the angle of the load, the lift can go up or down. Here you can see the robot in action. The first lever tilts the front end forward or backward. The second lever pushes the forks up and down. The end of the syringe is then pushed either upward or outward, causing our robot to move. We made several changes to our robot throughout the course of this project. First, we changed the placement of the syringes because they were a lot bigger than we thought they would be. Second, we had to change the way in which we attached the tubes because apparently they don't fit through the holes in the metal.